All right, guys, I'm back with the final no artifact build for the Titan. If you watched my previous videos on the Warlock and Hunter, you know that this build is all about keeping your volatile rounds proc because things like volatile flow are going to go away with the new season starting. And with volatile rounds being extremely strong and one of the most broken things in the entire game, you're going to want to continue using those even when the artifact does go away. Now, volatile flow isn't the only good artifact mod for Void 3.0. You have things like Overlord Grenades, Devouring Depths, Suppressive Glaive. There's a bunch of good artifact mods specifically for 3.0 and void 3.0 is dramatically going to get a lot weaker once these mods go away but it is still going to be very very strong if you can't build around it correctly and that is what this build is going to do you're going to be able to spam class ability and grenade energy everywhere to constantly have overshields and volatile rounds proc at all times with a bunch of damage increases as well so if you guys do enjoy this and would like to see more upcoming builds with our brand new light updated subclass be sure to stick around the channel hit subscribe and drop a like it really helps me out and i truly appreciate it. with all that let's just jump right into this all right so starting off with their weapons everything's going to be extremely similar to our warlock and hunter because pretty much all the mods and weapons that we run can kind of work on every class it's mainly the aspects and exotics that are going to be a little different but our exotic weapon of choice is still going to be with a horde it's just extremely strong for at clear you can kind of run whatever you want to if you run as nagis you can just any weapon and same with power weapon you can kind of run whatever i do like running threaded needle because of font of might because you do get damage increase and i am going to be running font of might on the titan so you can get a very nice damage increase for your power weapon right here and since you know we are going to be running volatile rounds something like the title is going to be very very good it is the best pv smg in the game in my opinion due to the fact it does have its classic contender trait so when you get a kill it will grant you some class ability energy and on top of that it will also proc your volatile rounds and it has rules like sets are one for all all around it is just insanely strong and it works so so good with this build because of volatile rounds and font of might but getting to our subclass we're going to be running our towering barricade this is just for protection if you do want to run the rally barricade to have a smaller cooldown you can because you're mainly just using this to get an overshield but i just run towering barricade just to have a nice bit of protection i do like running shield throw so i can have a ranged overshield if i ever need it because you want to have an overshield up a lot with this build when we get into our aspects so running shield throw is nice but again shield bash is also good but i just prefer shield throw now i do run vortex grenade I always run Vortex Grenade. It is just extremely easy to get a kill with the Vortex Grenade. You can run things like Scatter if you want to to try to secure a kill, or if you want a lower cooldown, go Void Wall, Void Spike. But Vortex is just by far the best at killing a lot of enemies and securing a kill for volatile rounds. Now, getting into our aspects, we're going to be running Bastion so that whenever we cast our Super or our Barricade, we're actually going to grant an Overshield. The Overshield is obviously good for survivability, but it is very, very good for also keeping things like Offensive Bulwark up. So when you have an Overshield or if you're inside your Water of Dawn, which we're going to be running Water of Dawn, your grenades are going to recharge significantly faster and you have increased melee range. The main thing is, is that grenade recharge rate is significantly faster. We're already going to be running a 100 Discipline, so it's going to make it even faster, which is very, very strong. To get into our Fabments, we're going to have Echo of Remnant, so our Vortex Grenade lasts longer. We're going to have Echo of Instability, so when we get a kill with that Vortex Grenade, we're granted Volatile Rounds. And then finally, Echo of Starvation, so when we pick up an Overpower, we're going to be granted Devour. Devour instantly heals you, and you get Grenade Energy back when you kill something. So to proc Devour, we're going to be running Void Siphon, so when we get multiple kills with our Void Weapons, we simply spawn an orb of power this is extremely strong go pick that orb of power up and you're going to have devour now and you can keep devour pretty much at all times when she gets this proc once now i'm also going to be running taking charge so when i pick up that orb of power i will also get charger light and to take advantage of charge light i will be running high energy fire so this is going to make it you can constantly go back and forth because you are always going to be charged light and not charge light and you can always keep picking these devour orbs up at all times to make it 100 easy to keep devour up so you literally never have have to worry about devour ever running out between getting kills and constantly picking up the orb so that's pretty much the rundown of how orbs of power are going to work constantly getting your charge light for high energy fire and keep rocking your immediate health and grenade cooldown our exotic choice is going to be heart of endless light so whenever we use an ability we're going to be spamming our barricade and grenade and even our melee every now and then to keep that overshield up it's going to empower our other two abilities this means we're going to have more damage and more cooldown rate so even more grenade cooldown rate so we can spam our vortex to constantly have all Tauron's proc at all times on the title and since we're going to be spam grenades i'm going to be taking things like elemental ordinance so whenever you get a grenade kill i will spawn a void elemental well which will give you some of your energy back for all your abilities and i'm also going to be running font to might so i'm going to pick up that void elemental well 
I will also get a damage buff from that. Font of Might and High Energy Fire do stack, so you will get a very big damage increase. And if you have both of those proc with something like Threat Needle on top of Volatile Rounds, you can just melt bosses solo. It is extremely strong. And if you do want to opt out of Font of Might and run something like well tenacity this will actually give you a little bit more survivability but since you're playing titan you're going to have your barricade and your bastion shield up pretty much 24 7 i opt to run font of might a lot more plus devour it's just, you're just insanely tanky so you can you know insert some more damage which is really really nice now for other mods i am running absolution and insulation so absolution is going to give you a lot of energy when you pick up an overpower for all of your abilities and on top of that insulation will give you specifically class ability energy when you pick up an orb of power so even more barricade energy so you can constantly spam those bash shields and keep that grenade recharge up then i also have two utility kick starts whenever i do pop my barricade i will get around 20 percent of that energy back so as you see you're going to be able to constantly spam barricades everywhere even without 100 resilience and in return this is also going to allow you to constantly spam grenades everywhere to keep rock and volatile rounds over and over again so that's pretty much the rundown of the build it does not take advantage of any of your artifact mods you can totally run this when every single new season comes out and like i said in the other videos there could potentially be new seasonal mods that come out next season that could even take even better advantage of things like volatile rounds and void 3.0 stuff in general so just be able to look out for that but if there isn't this is extremely strong specifically for volatile rounds if you do want to lean into other things other than just volatile rounds this build will work for that but others might be a little bit better this is specifically so everybody can constantly have their volatile rounds because they are just so fun and so strong and seeing volatile flow go away is definitely going to hurt a little bit but anyway i will post a dim link to this build in the description if you guys would like to go look at all the gear over there and if you want to try to get everything for yourself but i think that it is going to do all for me i cannot wait for the next season to start definitely expect to see a ton of builds coming out and if you guys do play warlock and hunter be sure to go check out my other builds just like this one so you can always have your volatile rounds on those classes as well but anyway that's going to be all for me thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace